Hello, it's the Haunt Informer, and today I'm going to tell you how you can black out your mouth with the Under Armour hood. And I'm going to show you my black morph suit mask. So today I'm going to show you how to black out your mouth with a Under Armour hood and my black morph suit mask. And I will show you both of them. First, I'm going to show you how to black out your mouth with an Under Armour hood. So here is an Under Armour hood. Ball clava style hood here, and I'm going to show you. It's very easy to put on. You just roll it up like this, put it on, and this purpose you want your mouth covered. So you just do this, cover your mouth, and then with the mask like this, Mr. Living Dead, I have. See how the mouth is open, and if you move your lips, you move your lips it will open and you'll be able to see your lips so that's why I would wear this Under Armour hood under and you'll see it blacks it out so now you can see I have the mask on and the hood pulled up over my mouth I'll show you I can talk and still look like there's a mouth under here and you can see the black here with the ball clava here. If I was in a slightly dark area but still bright enough to see the mouth and you don't want to ruin the illusion of you really are that character, you're not just a person wearing a skin face and you really want to look like you're this character, this, this face, then you could put on a ball clava like I have on now and have the mouth blacked out. So then you could be in character and then you can intimidate people and come up to them and get in their face and say, What are you doing in my shack? I thought I told you to leave here. Things like so that. So now I'm going to show you my black morph suit mask, my morph mask. And it says morph suits on the back here, but it was white originally. So I got a black Sharpie and then covered it black Sharpie so it would blend in with the black. And there's a zipper on the back if you're curious how to put it on. It doesn't just put on. There's a zipper. So you unzip it. And there is limited visibility with a morph suit, and you can't see perfectly. So, if you're in a haunt and you want to be a scary character in the dark, I recommend either wearing just whatever character you want to be, like either a goblin or a skeleton or any character you want to be. But if you just want to be an intimidating character in the dark where people won't really see your face, you really don't need any makeup on or mask you can you really can just be in the dark and you really don't need a mask and if you your character just needs a creepy hand or something like a creature hand then just wear that and then grab people with your hand that looks like a creature hand you don't need a mask and I'm saying that because this morph mask I've learned from trying to go in the dark for fun with this and see what it look like and it's very hard to see out during the dark when it's dark outside it's very hard so there's limited visibility of this mask already so do not wear this at night it will be extremely hard to see out of then you just roll this up and you just put it on pull it on you zip the back it's a very tight snug fit And this is how I look with my black morph mask on. So you can see how you'd think, oh, I could be so scary, I could jump out of a wall like this in a haunted house. But if most likely, when you're in a haunted house and you're in a dark area, it's going to be extremely hard to see out of this. Because right now, I only have very limited hazy view out of this now. So when there's no light at all, and you think you're no you're gonna know where someone is you're not it's gonna be extremely hard so I'm gonna go over again do not I would not personally wear this in a dark maze because it's already very hard to see out of now so I would definitely not wear this in the dark because then I certainly wouldn't be able to see anything and I wouldn't be able to safely or effectively scare anyone because I would not be able to see them I was the haunt informer I hope you enjoyed subscribe and I am on social media I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. On Instagram, my username is haunt underscore informers. Again, haunt underscore informer. And on Facebook, I'm the haunt informers again, 
the Haunt Informer, and on Twitter, my Twitter handles at Haunt Informer. Say again, at Haunt Informer. And as always, happy hauntings.